Valkar, in his time, broke out a disastrous civil war called the Kinstrife. After the death of Atanatar the Glorious, the Northmen of Mirkwood and the Upper Anduin, who had increased much in the peace brought by the power of Gondor, became powerful. Welcome to Tales of Arda, where we discuss and explore Middle Earth. And today we have the topic of the Kid Strife of Gondor. This was a civil war that broke out in Gondor in about the middle of the Third Age. The full history and explanation will be told here. In the late Second Age, Isidore and Narion, two sons of Elendil, founded the Kingdom of Gondor. They came from the high race of Numenor, as did their people. This will come into account later. For generations, the Gondorian kings were true Numenorians, being of no other blood. When the Easterlings began to harass Gondor, the then king of Gondor, Romendicil II, decided to make a friendship with Vidurgavia, the king of the men of Rovanian. This was to strengthen Gondor's allies in the north. Romendicil sent his son, Valakar, as an ambassador to Rovanian. For a time, there was peace. Then time came when Valakar fell in love with Virdumavi, the daughter of Virdugavia. Valakar sent word to his father to ask for his allowance to marry Virdumavi, for his love had grown great for her in the time of his stay in Rovanian. Romendico thought long on this matter, for Virdumavi was not of the high blood of Numenor and would create tension between the people who believe it is a tradition to have a full Numenorian on the throne of Gondor. It was a sign of disrespect. However, in the end, wanting to maintain the alliance with the men of Rovanian, Romendicil allowed Valakar to marry Virdumavi. Romendicil died and Valakar became the new king of Gondor. In the time of his rule, not much happened. When he died, his son, Eldakar, became the new king in 1432 of the Third Age. Eldakar was of Numenorian and Rovanian blood. Some of the people of Gondor began to rebel against the king. They did not believe that Eldakar had the right to rule them. Their leader was Castamir the Usurper, cap captain of ships and Eldakar's second cousin. He was supported by Umba and Pelage. In 1437 of the Third Age, Castamir and the rebels in an led an open rebellion against the throne, besieging Eldakar in Osgiliath. During the siege, Osgiliath was left in flames, with the great dome of stars lost together with his palante. Although seized, Throne, although he seized from this throne for himself, Castamir quickly lost the support of the people of Gondor due to his cruelty and lack of generosity as demonstrated by the unnecessarily brutal attack of the city and the execution of Ornodil, Eldakar's son and heir. His love for ships and fleets over the land which he ruled over added to his negative public approval. He also attempted to move the seat of the throne from Osgiliath to Pelage, adding to his unpopularity amongst the popularity in Ithilien and Minas Tirith. Eldakar fled in exile to his mother's kin in Rovanian and many Northmen in service to Gondor and the Dunedain of the northern provinces of Gondor fled flocking to him. Many of the Dunedain had come to greatly respect him and many more came to hate Castamir, his usurper. There, Eldakar remained for a decade. A full decade later, in 1447 of the Third Age, Eldakar returned with a great army from Morivanian. 
Castamere's unpopularity resulted in many of the people living in Kelanadon, Anorian and Dathilian to flock to Eldercar's banner. The two sides met at the Battle of the Crossings of Erui, where much of the best blood of Gondor was lost, until Eldercar managed to kill Castamere. Customer's sons and many of their supporters retreated to Pelago. Eldercar besieged them by land until the next year when they sailed their way to the haven of Umbar with all their forces. Eldercar could not follow them for he had no ships to beset them by sea. This is the end of the actual end of the civil war in Gondor. Although the Corsairs of Umbar would constantly pose a threat to Gondor in later years, Gondor had peace between its borders. Thank you for watching today's video.